Hey guys, Spikey here uh, with another ranked game commentary. Uh, this one, this one is uh, Ball Baller, currently rank one, of course, against Bloom's Tomb, who is uh, I don't know, he's blue at least. He has a rating that isn't shit, so let's see if he's any decent. Uh, Guild, of course, is going nuts. Um. Hoops just being an idiot over here. And of course global chat going nuts. Anyways, uh ball baller starting off with the voltaic slag. Getting some range, some sunder. Uh what's Bloob's Tomb doing? Anything? Nothing? Scrying? Baller didn't scry? No, he did. I just showed up after he scryed, I guess. Oh, he's got his cheeky pilgrim. That's uh, one of the new guys, I'm pretty sure. With dissipate and provision defense. Which uh, it's equipped against block and stop. Nice, not bad. Uh, yada yada. Next champion he deploys has purified and blessed. That's pretty badass. And of course, Arctic one to three range. Not bad. Uh, I mean, dissipate kind of sucks a little bit, but I think at most it's what minus four damage, so nine damage at max range, and then eleven. Get that damn grid up. So I mean like 9, 11, and then right there he's still doing 13. So I mean like it's not far for him to move to get to full damage. And he's got his Black, Babe, Black Blade Baron. Because he of course is playing a split. STFW. Whereas Baller, well, there's his instigator grabbing that font and then moving towards that one, of course. Uh, is playing full faction. Figured I should mention that. No need to have that open. So now he has, I mean, besides being uh, pretty badass, he's kind of new. Uh, he's got yada yada. Interesting. Commander. Snap bonus, so he's got upset, you know, fucking seven speed, goddamn. Now he also has Blessed and Purified. There's the Stitch Scaliform. He may just be playing some level of like meta type deck. I'm not sure if he's got a theme going or not. Oh. Uh, yeah, you gotta. Oh, Unleash. Okay, so he uh, Fuel Rage. So he got an extra space out of him and didn't have to waste AP by staying there with the uh, five decent enough move Pilgrim taking the font obviously now he's gonna probably move in somewhere over here-ish I don't know He'll probably start trying to bring some uh, some more range support out to try and kind of take out some of this shit. This let's see, summon. Do swarms work on? Uh, I'm not sure if swarms still work on summons or not. If they do, then that just may have been the shittiest deploy in the history of shitty deploys. I'm s waiting to see here what Baller does. Oh, purple. Ah, good lord. It's such an eyesore. Yeah, I'm gonna be that guy. That's right. 
I don't think that purple looks good. Honestly, I think it looks like crap. I mean, like, it's, you know, it's cool and whatever to have that be their name or whatever over on the, in the actual lobby. There we got club down there. But, I mean, in chat like that, that's kind of annoying. And they shouldn't show up, uh, above the blue names. I mean, come on, man, what the fuck? Oh, bringing those guys on in. Now, it's interesting that he deployed Club there, because, uh, I mean, he's not, like, ranged or anything. I would have expected, you know, to bring in some more range support, kind of like this slag here. But, I mean, to be fair, Club is kind of ridiculous. I'm pretty sure Baller's just playing a meta deck. So we just got kind of two variations on different meta decks if you will that's what we got going on between the uh, Shattered Peaks and the uh, STFW split now he has a shitload of AP why does he uh, I'm not sure why he has so much AP oh because he was in that font that's right he just hasn't moved yet Duh, I'm dumb. There's the range support I was thinking of. That Moga Cannon. He'll be leaping on in pretty soon here. He's actually finally appropriately costed at uh, 85 there. I mean, he's pretty badass, but he also costs quite a bit to throw down. Uh, let's see, is that all Baller's doing? Moving the, uh, slag up, of course. Now he probably set a trap down, I would say. Moving up like that. But he may have moved up that far as, like, some level of misdirection. And really the trap's, like, over there or something. And you just wanted him to think that he put it over here or over here or some shit. If he was, uh, if he was good, that's what he would have done. But I'm not sure, um, about the level of skill still available in this game. There's only a handful of people that are actually good enough to do moves like that. There's a skeletal lurper shadow spawning, uh, possibly up here, getting ready to run over and take that font, possibly down here to help these guys out. Maybe even over here to help him. Who knows? If I were him, I probably would have it up there and have it sneaking over just to be that guy, but I'm not sure if that's the best move strategically. So, I mean, he doesn't really want to move in necessarily because if, he, if he's engaged that thing he can still double tap next turn and he might want to run up to like there and cackle him or something but he probably wants to get both of them in one cackle if he can if I had to guess All right, I got gotcha. you. That's interesting uh thing that I noticed is these chat things when you close them if you click the same spot that you had them open and close them there, you can bring them back up quite a ways after like so. Katunk. Oh. I waited too long on that one. Oh well, doesn't matter. We're done playing with the uh, chat tabs. We gotta see what's going on. Uh, dirge tossed down by Baller. 
Uh, otherwise, kind of just sitting back and kind of camping, which is not a good idea really for Bloomstoom here because that's letting him get his slag and moga cannon into place. But he probably had that lurper up here sneaking over. And if he did, then this font is now kind of wide open and he may be getting it here in the next turn or so. It may be one of those things where he decides to power turn and pop a Moby or something. Running in with the Pilgrim to engage the slag. Just full on engaged. Who uh, That slag also has Dissipate, by the way. As well as uh, Distract, Sunder, Jolt, and uh, that Trail Lose, obviously, that we've all been seeing. I'm trying to get better at uh, explaining all the different abilities these things have for those players that aren't super experienced and are not sure what a lot of these things are or do. And I'm not I'm not sure how many of them are watching. It's probably just more experienced players watching at this point, since there's really those are the only guys that are left. Uh, even playing the game in the first place, but I mean, who knows? Who knows? Now he might just get that slag out of there and start wailing on that uh, that pilgrim, because that'll start putting some herdage on that baron. And then he can even swing in with him. Please don't just hit the the stupid Baron. He's got the sapping armor. Please, for the love of God, thank you. Good job. He still has encouraged. Boom. Boom. See, so look at that. He's got 17 HP left on that Pilgrim. Ain't nothing. Nothing. He's pretty much going to be dead soon. And he's moving him up into the uh, into that zone. Oh, bringing him over for the swarm. Boom. All right, slick move. But this font is probably going to get grabbed next turn by that lurper wherever he is. Because he's got that club down here against that uh, skeleform, which I mean, I mean, come on. If he had that lurper down there, he would have already engaged. He wouldn't have let him come on in and throw boulder and do all that jazz. He wouldn't have engaged up here. That would have uh, that would have looked ridiculous. So I can only assume that, I mean, he's going to be grabbing this font up here. Or... Uh, he might... Oh, he never mind. He had the presence with that. I was trying to figure out how he had the presence there to summon those. But he has his uh, Baron here. Oh, uh, that'll be interesting play one damage two damage woo wailing on the slag he's got 19 damage now because of that uh, encourage from coordination tower and then he's wailing on them, getting some skeletons, or, well, one. Took out the slag. Wasting tons of Nora. Not killing the instigator. Or, well, I guess he can whack it again to kill it. But he still left the other real instigator. 
and just engage to it. So I mean he just needs to leap on over move over, you know, throw axe smack that and then swarm again. <laughs> I mean meanwhile club here can just one shot the warrior and then head for the skeleform. I mean he's doing fine down here and uh, the fact that this font isn't taken tells me that he didn't deploy that lurper over here because by now he would have been at enough AP to make it over there uh, for sure so he's probably hiding in that font over here or somewhere in that general area see there's the uh, Moga cannon coming in There's the uh, Dream Crusher doing a little bit of damage, whacking him, killing that, and he swarms that. That, and there's the Stormfly. That may be game at this point. I mean, he's got what these two little risen warriors, and, uh, what, probably a skeletal lurper somewhere hiding in there? Not even hiding in there. Just somewhere on the map. Can't get in that font without getting past uh, Stormflyer there with his uh, static aura. Yep, there's the game. Alright, well, uh, that was a pretty decisive one, but uh, we'll see if the next one is quite so decisive. Who knows? Uh, see you guys next time.